to introduce Bonnie Rubenstein, who will speak about the two contact curated exhibitions. Bonnie has been a director of contact since 2002 and is primarily responsible for the festival's artistic programming. Bonnie established Contact's public installation program in 2003 and curates several high-profile grand-scale projects throughout the city for the festival each year. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, everyone, for coming this morning. Um, it's great to be here in the TTC, and thanks to Karen Stintz and everyone here for providing us with this opportunity to meet in one of Toronto's most public places to uh, present programming that deals with the theme public. Um, partnerships and curatorial collaborations have enabled the Scotiabank Contact Photography Festival to extend the reach and prominence of artistic programming. Our relationship with Patterson, One Stop and Art for Commuters is really an outstanding example of this. With many thanks to Randy Otto, to Bob and Michael, this year's festival presents programming and photography that will resonate with communities throughout the city and capture attention of people from all walks of life throughout the country. Special thanks go to Derek Bassant, all the artists in We're In This Together, and all the general public that will contribute their images, and to Sharon Switzer for wonderful projects our curated programming includes a number of projects that emphasize photography's engagement with warfare and draw attention to social and political issues that are framed by photographic images. Just over one year ago, on April 20th, 2011, the British-American photojournalist and filmmaker Tim Hetherington was killed while on assignment in the besieged city of Misrata in Libya. We are very honored to present his portraits of soldiers sleeping in Afghanistan on Patterson billboards in Toronto at the intersection of College, Dundas, and Lansdowne, and in six cities across Canada from coast to coast. As Canadian forces remain in Afghanistan, and recent news uh, articles um, confess that perhaps the future is, of our withdrawal is still unclear, this project is a very powerful reminder of the risks facing those involved in conflicts overseas. Hetherington's portraits invoke the idea of tactical vulnerability and raise questions about Canada's role in military missions. Jim Goldberg's projects, Open Sea, gives a public voice to, to the displaced peoples of Eurasia and Africa, whether fleeing war or seeking a better life. In contrast with photographs that we typically see in mainstream media, that tend to desensitize viewers, Goldberg's work is a form of documentary storytelling that produces a dynamic relationship between the artist, the subject, and the viewer. His Polaroid portraits, which incorporate the drawings or the handwritten messages of each person photographed, are combined with panoramic scenes to expose both the individual and the collective dimension of war and devastation. Situated on Patterson billboards and street level units at Spadina and Front, within an increasingly dense zone of condominium developments, Goldberg's photographs challenge the passerby to consider the lives of displaced people who are often overlooked. Very special thanks go to Jim Goldberg, of course, who also was unable to join us, unfortunately, and to the family of Jim Hetherington, who've been an enormous help to us in presenting this project. Our thanks also go to Greg Flash and everyone at Nikon for their additional support to our billboard projects. And to all of the festival sponsors, funders, and partners, way too many to name this morning. We are, of course, especially grateful to Jane Noakes and to Scotiabank, our title sponsor, who have generously um, provided a stable platform for the festival. Please excuse the pun. Um, you'll find full detail of the, for this year's festival in our magazine and our, on our website. The magazine is available at any of our venues throughout the city. The easy place to find it is the contact office, which is near here at Spadina and King. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Bonnie. Um, just to wrap up, um, Patterson has been supporting contact with billboards since 2010. And our digital screens have featured Contact in Toronto since, since 2007. But this is the first year that we have also featured photography on subway platform posters across the city. 
and sponsored four unique projects. We are very pleased to be bringing this amazing range of photography to the, to the public and to have expanded our uh, partnership with Contact this year. Um, Michael, unless you have something to say, I think we're done. Thank you. Thank you. 